we got some rather sad and unfortunate news regarding the Columbus Blue Jackets in the NHL. So Matisse Kavlenix, uh, he has passed away on the 4th of July, age 24, and he died in a firework accident. So I'll explain what happened in a bit. So police in Novi, Michigan, they said Monday that Kavlenix, he ended up dying after hitting his head following a 4th of July accident. What happened was, according to Lieutenant Jason Meyer of Novi Police Department, he said a motor-style firework uh, tilted slightly and started firing towards people nearby. And Kavlenix was in a hot tub and he fled along with several others. But when he was trying to flee, he slipped and he hit his head on the concrete. And the fire department and EMTs got uh, to the private home about 10, 13 on Sunday night and took him to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead, according to Jason Meyer. And the autopsy is scheduled for Monday. I do have a quote right here from Meyer. He said, and I quote, at the moment, we're pretty certain this was a tragic accident. And I do have a quote also by John Davidson, the uh, president of hockey operations for the Columbus Blue Jackets. He said, and I quote, we are shocked and saddened by the loss of Matisse uh, Kavlenix. And we extend our deepest sympathies to his mother, Astrida, his family and friends during this devastating time. Uh, Kiwi was an outstanding young man who greeted every day and everyone with a smile. And the impact he had during his four years with our organization will not be forgotten. And a little bit on uh, Kavlenix, uh, hit on his NHL career, he started two games for the Columbus Blue Jackets last season and recently played for Latvia at the IIHF World Championships. He played in eight total games in his NHL career and was expected to compete for more playing time next season. And one notable win that he had was his first career uh, win against New York Rangers. That was a notable one for him. He won, they won two to one that game. And I do have a quote here from uh, Nick Foligno, the captain of the Colum or former captain, excuse me, of the Columbus Blue Jackets. He said, and I quote, one thing I loved and appreciated about him was he had a great smile and always was in a good mood. I know, I know it's cliche, but that's exactly the kind of guy he was just enjoying his life at a, as a 24 year old living out his dream. And you could tell he didn't take one day for granted. It makes this tragedy even more hard to hear praying for his family and all of us who knew him hard day for a lot of people in that organization. And uh, NHL commissioner, Gary Bettman, he issued a statement on the death of uh, Kovlenix. He said, and I quote, on behalf of the NHL family, we extend our deepest sympathies to his family, friends, and teammates in both the Columbus Blue Jackets organization and his native country of Latvia. His love for life and passion for the game will be deeply missed by all those who have been fortunate to have him as a teammate and a friend. And last but not least, Nate, one more quote from uh, Yarmo uh, Kekalainen. He said, and I quote in a tweet, actually, life is so precious and can be so fragile. Hug your loved ones today. Uh, R.I.P. Matisse, you will be daily missed. And yeah, and, they, um, and last but not least, uh, Kovlenix, he was an undrafted, uh, he was undrafted, he was signed by the Columbus Blue Jackets as a free agent in 2017. He made his NHL de debut in Madison Square Garden on January 19, 2020, stopping the uh, 31 out of 32 shots to beat the New York Rangers 2-1, to one, excuse me. And uh, last week, Kovlenix and fellow uh, Columbus goaltender Elvis Merz Lincolns, they made an appearance at the Mid-Ohio Mid Sports Car Course for a ride-along event. And Kovlenix was uh, spending the summer in the United States and was there at the time of his death. So you know what, Nate? Uh, allow me to start off first, considering the fact that he was a, a player of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Before I do, I just want to take a moment of silence. Thank you. Um, so before I start, I want to say that the source of this article is ESPN News Services. But let me start off with this first. First of all, uh, may Matisse Kovlenix uh, rest in peace and condolences to his family as well and his friends. Yeah, Nate. Um, see, this is, I'm going to be honest with you. First of all, this is this is very sad. I mean, just hearing about him, you know, just hearing about how he always had a smile coming in. He never took a day for granted, you know, and that's just the type of guy he was. It is sad to hear about, okay? But going to the the whole incident themselves, look, 4th of July is, is one of the funnest times of the year, okay? Obviously, you get just cookouts, you get the pop-up fireworks, you get to eat, you get to eat as much as you like. But the thing was with the fireworks, okay, you got to do these pretty, you got to do these safely, you know? These people are literally pointing them, to, like po tilting them. You can't tilt fireworks. Seriously, if you tilt fireworks, they're going to go in that direction. And, and, and I don't understand, I don't understand it. You got to be very, very careful when it comes to fireworks. And because they weren't, it was firing towards people, not just, uh, 
Kavlenix, but other people, they were at risk. You know, other people were at risk that day. And Kavlenix was, ended up getting a fireworks shot at him in the hot tub. So he ended up trying to, again, trying to flee, flee the hot tub, and he ended up hitting his head. So people got to be very, very careful with fireworks, okay? They said it's a tragic accident. Obviously, I don't think somebody meant to point fireworks at him, shoot him towards him. You know, I don't think that was the whole goal. But overall, Nate, these people got to be more careful. You know, you're tilting fireworks and you're shooting them and you're shooting them literally where the, wherever the firework is, is, is pointed, that's where it's going to go. If it's pointed up, it's going to go up. If it's tilted, it's going to go wherever it's tilted. You know, you got to be very, very careful with fireworks because if handled wrong, it could be very, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Exhibit A right here. You know, and because of it, people, uh, because of it, a mother lost her son. You know, uh, relatives lost another relative. P teammates have lost one of their teammates. You know, like, I mean, it, like, seriously, this is a guy that they're never going to get back. And he, he had a great debut with the with the Columbus Blue Jackets. You know, he ended up defeating the New York Rangers 2-1. to one. He saved their, uh, 31 out of 32 shots. So, again, overall, Nate, he it looked like he was going to have uh, he looked like he was going to compete for a little more playing time. We have we have uh, Elvis Merzlikens, who's or and you, I believe we still have Jonas Corposalo. Those two guys were the two goalies ahead of him. But he was it looked like he was going to compete for some more playing time and he was going to have a decent career ahead of him. But because people want to be careless to just shoot off fireworks and shoot and tilt them. Now, again, that's not going to happen. You know, uh, he's only 24 years old, which makes it so tragic. The fact that he's so young and he had his whole NHL career ahead of, ahead of him. And the fact that this is the way because of because of mishandled fireworks again it's apps again people got to be more careful Nate you know and this is and again the last firework incident that I could recall Nate was the one with uh, Jason Pierre Paul where he kind of blew up his hand but this is what I'm talking about you got to be more careful with fireworks people are not careful with them now these days Nate you know if you're gonna use fireworks make sure they're tilting up into the air and that's where the fireworks go not tilted to the point where it can go towards people I don't know why you would tilt fireworks I really don't. You know, people got to be more careful. It's just as simple as that. But overall, I don't want to focus too much on that. To uh, Matisse of Lennox, um, family, friends, loved ones, uh, you know, condolences to them. You know, may he rest in peace again. He looked like he had a good NHL career ahead of him. But because of what happened, it's got to be cut short, sadly, you know. Um, but with that being said, Nate, that's the best way I can end this off of. But. Another thing, if you're going to use fireworks 4th of July or on any occasion, make sure you're safe with them, okay? Don't tilt them to the point where it could go somewhere and hurt someone. Make sure they're up in the air, and that's where they are. Simple as that, okay? We want to watch the fireworks up in the air, not forward, you know, not tilted, not looking this way, up. Simple as that. So with that being said, may Matisse Kavlenix rest in peace. Uh, condolences to his friends and family, teammates, loved ones. And as a Columbus Blue Jackets fan, thank you for everything you have done for us. Yeah, this is very tragic. Tragic, you know. May Matisse can blend, express some peace, condolences to his family. Let me explain something to you, okay, Mario. When you're using fireworks, you need to make sure those things are secured. It's just as simple as that. I've been hearing a lot of freak accidents with fireworks lately. Just a couple of days ago, I was watching the news about how a tractor trailer blew up with fireworks in it. Just a month ago, I was watching the news because a whole factory of fireworks blew up. Y'all got to make sure these things are secure. I'm sorry, but I know I like like some some could go to those two things that I mentioned like, oh, yeah, you know, probably no one's to blame there. And you're probably right. But you need to make sure these things are secured enough so this, so this stuff doesn't happen. And even when you're sending them off, you got to make sure you're secured, too. And you not only have to think about the people around you, but you have to think about the areas as well. Because just last night, you know, obviously last night was the 4th of July. And by the way, I hope everyone had a good one. You know, like it was all smoky in my area and people had to leave early because fireworks continued to go off. And if they stayed, not even their high beams would have helped them get out of there. Something would have happened. So people started leaving early because it was so smoky and it looked like a battle. Right. So you got to you like when you set off fireworks, you got to be aware of those things, you know, and obviously you got to make sure they're secure. So stuff like this doesn't happen. And it, right. because, because that didn't because that wasn't the case, someone passed away from it. You got to be very, very wary, wary when you use fireworks. And you got to make sure that people that, that are setting them off actually know what they're doing. Don't have amateurs do it. This is, the, this is the best way I can say it. And in this case, if I had to point to anybody's fault, it's the person who set off that firework and yeah. tilted it. Because if you put it up in the air, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have gone towards people. 
and people went and had to rush out. And not only that, Nate, like you're in a hot tub. You know, it's you know, obviously a hot tub has something called water in it, and water is slippery. So yeah. because you're pointing fireworks in a very dangerous part, too, they're in hot tubs, people. You know, they're it's again, that's a potential slip, that's a that's a potential slipping hazard. He ended up uh, he ended up slipping and he hit his head in the concrete. Now so, so, that would have never happened if you pointed the fireworks up in the air where they were supposed to be. It's just it's just crazy, you know. You just gotta make sure you're safe with these fireworks. But going back to my uh Matisse Kavlenic, he he had a lot of potential, Mario. He really did. You know, he had the potential yeah. to the Blue Jackets next franchise goal. But unfortunately that was cut right. short, you know, and, and I do feel bad and I do uh send my condolences to his family and his friends and his teammates and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, but overall, Mario, I look at this. You guys, you know, if you guys want to use fireworks, just make sure they're secure. Make sure you use them correctly, because these these things aren't anything to mess around with. You know, they're nice in the sky, but they're not ni- they're not nice when they burn you. So that's really the best I can say. You know. So with that being said, you know, may Matisse of Lennox, uh rest in peace. Condolences to his family and the Columbus Blue Jackets. And yeah, just be safe out there with the fireworks. <laughs>